Welcome to another MGX series video. We are just getting started with exploring the breadth of possibilities such a versatile mixer provides. Though this time, let's focus on live sound mixing for public address. MGX16 and MGX12 are the perfect choice where several speech or singing microphones need to be blended with musical instruments and or multimedia sound sources, some extra effects brought in and all delivered to an audience in the room as well as potentially online. Not forgetting to deliver the musician's sound back to themselves through monitor speakers or in earphones on stage. MGX16 includes eight mic line inputs accepting XLR or jack plugs. MGX12 includes four. They provide an amazing dynamic range of 125 dB measured at the stereo out with an exceptionally wide gain range of 85 dB. Fandom power can be provided individually for maximum versatility and compatibility with all types of microphone. When connecting electric guitars and basses, remember to use a good quality DI box for the best impedance matching. If you're not confident with setting the analog gain manually, use the auto gain and then enable clip safe. Variable high pass filter is really useful. From 40 to 120 hertz, it's worth applying to all but the deepest of sound sources. A noise gate and a compressor is provided for all the mono inputs for advanced dynamic control. And the compressor has a one knob option for easy application by less experienced operators. The four band parametric EQ is extremely versatile where each band has three values, gain, frequency, and Q or shape. See how Q makes the band narrow or wide. If you're not sure what to do, choose one knob vocal mode to dial in something a professional sound engineer may do instinctively. Up to three of the mono inputs can use an insert effect. Choose from vocal pitch fix, a compander for extra dynamic level management, or a guitar amp simulator for clean, crunch, lead, or drive sounds. Stereo inputs and playback sources, such as digital pianos, DJ decks and drum machines can plug into the four stereo channels. Alternatively, they can take digital audio sources such as USB, Bluetooth and micro SD. The stereo channels all have a digital gain adjustment, polarity switch and the same type of four band parametric EQ and they also include a ducker, which can automatically reduce the level of background music when someone is talking over it. All mono and stereo channels can send their inputs, either pre or post fader, to eight mix buses, and always post fader to the two internal effects units. Change the settings either on the screen or Press a user define key to select the mix and then turn the row of encoders. The two effects channels are primarily for vocal and instrumental effects. They include the highly regarded Rev X Hall, Room and Plate, and the practical R3 algorithms, as well as mono and ping pong. Delay. Use them to add space and depth to the mix. 
In the output patch screen, you can select which mix bus reaches each on the out jack. There are eight on MGX16 and six on MGX12. Both sizes of MGX include four headphone amps, which can also be used by some of the performers. Select a stereo pair of mix buses or a single mono mix for their in-ear monitors. Going back to the main stereo mix, each mono channel has a pan control and each stereo input a balance. The main stereo output channel has a four band parametric EQ and an insert effect. Choose between compander and multiband compression. This is useful to regulate the levels required for a live stream where listeners are using smaller loudspeakers or even mobile devices and do not wish to keep adjusting their own volume during the program. The MGX streaming output channel includes a delay for making sure you get lip sync. It can be adjusted by time, video frames or distance. Push the knob while turning for fine tuning. Back in the output patch, the stream can be assigned to one of the USB outputs and sent to a computer to reach the internet. That's just about all for this video. But do remember, the MGX mixers are equipped with even more features, including the ability to multi-track record onto a micro SD card or through USB to DAW software. And there's a simple operation mode with Quick Setup Wizard to allow people with less experience to get a good sound. Thanks for watching this MGX video and don't miss the others in this series. Visit our website for details and downloads and find the product in a music and sound store near you. I'm Andy from Yamaha's research and development team and I'll see you again soon.